Let's see what we got here. A Soviet radio. And remember, Soviet does not mean Russia. Soviet could have been made in Ukraine. I like always always get a lot of heat from people saying, Hey, you're working on Russian radios. No, 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 no. USSR. Not Russia. Very possibly made in Russia, but. So let's, uh, seems like it's in poor shape. Let's see what we got here. Selga. Uh, AM broadcast, medium wave, and long wave. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like the bar antenna is loose inside. Uh, this is kind of a donor, I think. I'm not even going to power this up. I want to open it and see what's flopping around in there. Well, that's not a good look. Ugh, ouch. So where does this one go? Wow, it looks like it's had an output transistor replaced. They got one that's painted gray and one that's not. Well, I found one of the wires there that broke off from this one here. So I'm going to have to glue the rod antenna back together and really dig at this and find the other wire and then maybe it'll work. Back to the Selga 404. I mended the bar antenna where it was broken. What I did is I pressed it together and I wrapped it with transformer tape and then I put heat shrink over it, so it's tight. The two ends are pressed together. Looking at the service data, this coil right here, I believe is for long wave. This one here is for broadcast medium wave. So we don't even need that one right there that's got the wire broken off, but this one, I believe I have to fix this wire right here where it's broken. See that right there. That wire is broken. Of course, it doesn't want to focus on that, but you can see it and I will fix it and then we'll try it out. See, antenna's fixed and it's still totally silent. So I'm measuring the current draw and is that two milliamps? That's nothing. It's not enough. I'm sorry, that was, look at the capacitors reforming. That was 0.02 milliamps. I skipped over the power switch and that's about right, about six milliamps. Now, it's still totally quiet. I'm gonna try and clean the power switch. On these, those are the contacts right there. See how dirty it is. I'm just going to clean it. So still, even with the 5 milliamps draw, no noise, totally quiet. I'm going to check the speaker and the uh, headphone jack. One lead of the speaker disconnected, 8.5 ohms. Measuring the transformer side, 12.7 ohms. Even though I confirmed it by measuring the speaker and then with one wire disconnected measuring the secondary of the transformer, I still check the wires through the, the uh, phone jack down there and they're good. 
So usually you'd get a little pop or a click or a little hiss or something. And this thing is just absolutely uh, dead, uh, nothing. So I'm gonna check the voltage on the output transistors. I got two germanium output transistors right here. So the two that are tied together are probably the emitter. Uh, 0 0.009. Uh, I'm going to check the base on this one. 0 0.126. That's good. That's bias for a germanium transistor. Uh, base on this one. 0 0.123. That's good. That's bias. And this should be the collector. And uh, 0 0.019. So, this is probably where the voltage comes into the output transformer. We got 10 volts. So we got an open, open on the primary of the audio output transformer. Boy, that's a, that's a unique one. Well, this radio must have been dropped. You can see right there where it's broken. I don't know if I can fix that. I'm pretty damn good, but that's pretty damn bad. And the way this thing is built, the leads don't offer any look at how this is built the leads don't really offer any support this is a joke I mean you look at it it looks so damn heavy duty but then you look at how they built the leads it's a joke okay It took way more time than the radio was worth, but don't ever underestimate your ability to fix something. Because I done fixed it. It ain't pretty. Okay, let's see. Well, we got a pop now. I heard Okay, I can barely hear a station coming in I put my ear up against the speaker and I tune and it sounds like it's getting a bunch of stations with some whistle So I'm suspecting bad capacitors. So the first thing when you get this situation is find the center tap of the volume control and follow it and we got a capacitor right here. So I don't know why it always seems like the first capacitor to go open is the one that's connected to the volume control. It just always seems like that, but that, that'll tell you that the rest of them are open too. And that one says 1MK, so that's a 1 microfarad. Checking the rest of these, 
this is one two three four five six checking them with the esr meter uh they're all five to six ohms which is high esr by the microfarads they are but they're not open and five or six ohms well that's at 100 kilohertz too but five or six ohms is definitely not uh probably going to affect the performance this is the only one that's open So in order to keep the original look, I put a 3.3 uh, microfarad tantalum off of this surface mount on the bottom. That noise is from the camera. Interesting how it sounds like it's tuning in a bunch of stations all at once there. These radios are usually super sensitive and selective, and this one just seems a little out of alignment. But it's kicking ass. What I'm going to do before I button it up is I'm going to go through and bridge all the rest of these capacitors and see if I hear any difference. This station is very, very weak. Only the best radios will pick this up. These radios work very, very good. Very good. What happened to my top end? I just had it working. On the job training by treating patients, they make roughly 50 to 65,000 a year, but they're asking. Hey, what's going on? Come on, man. The party's not over. The party is not over. This is your boy, Skip Cheetah. It's Memorial Day. This is the D.L. Hughley Show. Man, listen up. I got F.U. D.L. Hughley, celebrity this or that, show bus records. Man, come on, man. It's Memorial Day. This is how you usher in the summer. We do... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got married and uh, 
I'd love to have comfort Bridget. <laughs> These Soviet radios are absolutely kick-ass once you get them dialed in. Absolutely kick-ass. <laughs> 